My brother's disabled, uh, which is my mantra when I meditate. And um, it's not, I'm kidding. <laughs> but it is how I sign off all my emails. And um, <laughs> like work emails. Um, but so he's 36 years old, but he's developmentally disabled. So mentally, it's sort of like he functions at like a six, seven-year-old level. And because of that, people think he can't do everyday things, which isn't true at all. He goes to the movies by himself. He goes grocery shopping. Um, he recently lost his virginity, which was super exciting, just so you know. It was a good thing. <laughs> no one ever knows what to do. My favorite is when I say that on stage and no one makes a sound except one brave person's like, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> And then they, like, go to jail, you know? But, um, no, it was good. It was a good thing. Uh, he lost it to another special needs woman his age. Uh, she, like, wears a helmet and everything. Um, like, all the time. It's not like a sex helmet. She's, like, always very <laughs> safe and sound. Um, and so my brother called me when it happened. He was, like, super excited. He was like, Hannah, Hannah, I had sex, and I did everything Ben told me to do, which Ben is the guy who works in his group home who, like, cooks everyone dinner and takes everyone to work and apparently teaches everyone how to fuck. So, cool. <laughs> uh, thanks, Ben. That's fun. <laughs> what a surprise. Um, so this is the weirdest part, and there's, like, a weirdest. Uh, is my brother was like, Hannah, Hannah, I had sex and I did everything Ben told me to do. I put on the condom, I had sex, and then I washed my hands right away. <laughs> so, like, Ben is a little weird. <laughs> I like to think that Ben, like, just didn't quite know what sex was and he panicked when my brother asked. He was just like, sex, huh? All right, yeah, no, I know it. Uh, yeah, you're gonna be working with a lot of mud, a lot of raw chicken, gonna wanna disinfect immediately. <laughs> okay, good, you guys were brave through that, thank you. <laughs> I think that uh, the weapons that are like, does anyone in here, does any woman in here like carry pepper spray or anything like that? <laughs> no, all unarmed, good, that's what I like to do. <laughs> Good. I like to ask a crowd in front of everyone who's unarmed and then send you off uh, to your cars at the end of the show. Great. Good. Have a fun walk to the train. Okay. Uh, maybe for future, if someone asks you if you have weapons, just be like, oh, so many. <laughs> just be like totally covered in them. Um, well, I do think that the weapons that are geared toward women are like very, uh, they're like ridiculous. <laughs> they're like gag gifts. Like I'll give you an example. Like I own something called cat ears. Okay which are like brass knuckles for girls, okay? So it's like brass knuckles you put your fingers through in the middle and the ring finger both have spikes on them, right? Like the ears of a cat. But then on the part that you grip, they draw the face of a kitty cat for fun, okay? And then we have our pepper spray, which is like our bad little squirt gun, you know? And then we have rape whistles, which like a whistle's an actual toy. <laughs> Like, I don't even know who rape whistles are for. Like, if I heard whistling at four o'clock in the morning, I'd be like, stop whistling. <laughs> Go to bed, coach. <laughs> you know? All right. 